death be not proud this is what goes for the eight guards for their participation in the bangladesh liberation war of 1971 the eight guards they had been supporting the mukti bahini offensives against the pakistani army for a very long time the rightful rebellion of the mukti bahini against the oppression of the pakistani military that was something extremely commendable but in the month of november the eight guards decided to go go full in inside the battle they were operating in the hilly area i mean in, in the hilly border area they were a part of the 202nd mountain brigade under the command of brigadier bhatti the 202 brigade was a part of the 20th mountain division led by major general lachman singh lel such a goc had actually won the veer chakra in the 1947 war on the 22nd to 23rd of november the eight guards decided to call in the d day four companies of the eight guards had decided to infiltrate in through the hilly area and <clears throat> into the defenses of the four frontier force of the pakistani army the four frontier force of the pakistani army was actually called as the bawanjas yes this is the same battalion from where sam manikshaw had served i mean sam manikshaw had served here and this was now serving as a part of the pakistani army the four frontier force was a part of the 205 mount 205 infantry brigade that was led by a fanatic pakistani brigadier brigadier tajam mal husain malik the four frontier force had turned the hilly border area especially the area of mora para into a blood bath they had prepared this area for a blood bath movie traps were laid here mine fields were down here the terrain was unforgiving swamp shallow waters and some and a lot of buildings had machine gun posts set up like they had planned that if the indian army ever comes through this place is going to be hell for them yes they had actually created hell it was impenetrable the entire area was an impenetrable fortress but it was the valor of the guardsmen who decided to take them out the eight guards was led by lieutenant colonel shamsher singh lieutenant colonel shamsher singh himself got the mahavir chakra later on because of his exceptional leadership the eight guards had four companies a company led by major manjrekar b company led by major r nath c company led by major p p singh and d company led by major k k rao for this massive assault the eight guards received artillery support from the 37 mountain regiment the 38 medium regiment and from the 100 mountain regiment on the first hour of 23rd of november 1971 A and B companies made their first assault on the Pakistani defenses at Mora Para in Hilly. They faced extreme resistance. Not only was the terrain unforgiving, but the Pakistani machine guns tore through these two rifle companies. It was hell on earth. Major Manjrekar, he led his A company from up front. he lobbed a machine he lobbed a grenade into a machine gun post himself taking it out unfortunately he received a machine gun burst himself yet this gallant officer decided to do something about the next bunker wounded he moved up yet he received another machine gun shot a burst on his head he died there Unfortunately he didn't receive an any gallantry award he died in front of his men trying to make his pin down company move up 
and his place came second lieutenant Shamsher Singh Samra. He was commissioned in the 8th Guards and he decided to do something about the situation. It was turning grim. The machine gun fire was extreme. It was taking down more men and if men were just walked down like this, entire A company would collapse. He took a platoon and he started moving up to another machine gun nest. He lobbed a grenade, took it out, but he was wounded. He, was, he received a burst again. He received a burst again to take the second machine gun post. And that is when he thought of death, I guess. He must have thought about death. He was wounded twice. He had, a bur he had two bursts on his chest. Must be some bullets. But unfortunately, he passed away there. He was found later on by his comrades lying in a trench, dead, with his stem gun in hand and the grenade in his another hand. The pin was not opened. Meanwhile, the situation for B Company was not very good. Major R. Nath, he was leading B Company and unfortunately, he got wounded from shrapnel. He was evacuated, of course, hence came Captain Bansal. Captain Bansal was a 2IC of B Company. He had two JCOs with him and he led the assault. Unfortunately, one of the JCOs were trying to clear MMG nest when he stepped on a land, when he stepped on a land mine and lost his leg. He eventually passed away, but not before taking down that machine gun nest. Another JCO, Naib Subedar Naib, was killed in action for their supreme gallantry and sacrifice they were they did receive the mention in dispatches and a veed chakra captain bansal also received the veed chakra the situation was turning grim for b company as well even they got pinned down meanwhile a company losing their commanding officer alongside a lot more other officers was now under the command of second lieutenant gupta he was very young, yet 2nd Lieutenant Gupta led the survivors of A Company and he took out two more enemy Pakistani bunkers, but unfortunately when he got killed, it was now up to D Company to do something about A and B companies who were still stuck in machine gun fire and the filthy mud. D Company was now led by Major K.K. Rao and he led his men gallantly again trying to take out more and more Pakistani bunkers but before he took out another bunker even he was wounded he refused evacuation of course because even after his wounds what he thought of was the fight the victory and he continued to lead his men unfortunately even he passed away on the battlefield D Company did manage to hold some ground and now the glory was written in the name of Lance Naik Ram Ugra Pandey. He had an RCL gun and in this assault with his RCL gun he took out three Pakistani bunkers. Unfortunately even he got killed in action. He was he was fighting gallantly before he passed away, even till the last second. Captain Vishnu Sharma, the 2IC of D Company, took charge and he managed to hold more ground, securing more of Morapara. Seeing the heavily defended network of trenches and bunkers of the 4 Frontier Force, the Indian Army finally decided to send in T-55 tanks. The 8 guards needed the most right now. Unfortunately, the T-55 tanks got bogged down in mud. They couldn't just come in time. Hence, a column from C Company was sent on the 24th of November to help out all these three companies who were stuck. 
Eventually, the four frontier forces of the Pakistani army were also on the verge of being breaking up. Even their defense networks were almost blown up. They had fought gallantly, but they had inflicted massive casualties on the eight guards. Yet the eight guards were finally pushing them out. C Company had managed to get a good foothold on Morafara, and alongside them came the PT-76 tanks from the 69 Armored Regiment. These tanks started to break the enemy defenses. Now they had to flee to save their lives. They finally received orders to move out from, the, from that area. And finally, Morapara was now in Indian hands. Till the 10th of December, the 8th Guards held on to Morapara, repelling counterattacks after counterattacks. And in the first battle of Hilly, the 8th Guards had the most casualties. Second Lieutenant Shamsher Singh Sambra from A Company received the Mahavir Chakra. Unfortunately, A Company Commander Major Manjrekar didn't receive any gallantry award despite being recommended for. Many officers, many NCOs and many JCOs lost their lives and were wounded in this grisly battle. The Battle of Hilly. The Battle of Hilly was a bloodbath for the Indian Army and also for the Pakistani forces. And it was at the cost of blood that these men repelled the Pakistani occupiers from the land of Bangladesh. Eventually, the 8th Guards and the rest of the 202 Mountain Brigade moved in deeper inside Bangladesh, commencing the Second Battle of Hilly. But that is a story for another time. Thank you for listening.